All right. Welcome to our remote information information session for the School of Fashion at Kent State University. I'm Lily Ann Starlin Nilsson from the College of the Arts. I'm the Director of Recruitment and Retention, and I'll be here today um, helping facilitate this session. So this is a half hour information session that really focuses on the study way and study abroad program here inside the fashion school. And I'm joined today with Dr. Han, who is the study abroad coordinator, study way coordinator, and also a fashion faculty member. So we're really excited that she could be here to join us to talk about these programs today. So I know she has some information that she wants to share with you. And before I turn it over to her, I just want to remind you that you can mute your mic. Um, and then once she's done we'll open the floor for questions and there's a chat box on the toolbar so you can either pop a question in there if you have it or I think one of you is joining us by the phone so we'll make sure you have a chance to, to ask your question and then if you need closed captioning there's a toolbar in the middle with three dots you can click on that and then add closed captioning to your session if you want to have that as an option so Dr. Han I'll go ahead and turn things over to you Okay, hello everybody. So I think we have Abigail and Gabriel, I think. Um, welcome. So I'm the fashion school faculty and then I coordinate all the study away programs um, for our school of fashion. I'm gonna share with you our um, website. I don't know if you had a chance to visit our website. Um, can you see it? Yes, we can see it. Oh, OK, great. Um, is it scrolling down when I do this? It is, yep. OK, great. So this is the Fashion School website. Um, if you do www.kenta.edu fashion, and then if you um, click on study away, it leads to this um, screen right here. Um, the first, we usually are walking advising um, during the week, um, twice a week, Wednesday and Friday in the morning at my office. Um, you can just walk in if you have any questions and things like that. Uh, we have a study away day in September where we introduce all different programs um, for each year. So usually we invite freshmen and sophomore to come to that event. And if you click on welcome and financial aid, it shows what happened last year in September. Um, with our director introducing and talk about introducing all the students and parents. You can watch the video there. Um, so, and also it's broken down to, my computer's being a little bit slow, broken down to each program down here. So if you are interested in South Korea program, London, you can just click on the video and you can watch those. Um, so we have about nine different programs currently. Um, we have the biggest one is Florence, where you can study in the semester or summer. We have a um, New York program. Also, you can have semester or summer programs there. Um, and usually we have junior students go to those locations. Uh, we also have um, South Korea, London, Paris are mainly summer program that you can go for a month or a um, little bit longer than one month to study. Um, and we also have an exchange program with Germany and Hong Kong. And we also have a small short term study tour for LA and Germany during the summer. And also, if you go into each tab in here, New York Studio has all, all the information. It will direct you to um, New York Studio website. And later at 3 o'clock, I think our um, New York Studio director and Will Walter will be talking on more detail about the um, New York Studio program. I'm just going to go over the overview of each program right now. So I'm just showing you all the information in here. Um, for our study away is that on our website. The process is, I don't know if you're aware, study away is a requirement for all of our students. So um, study away day in September, we introduce all different programs to students and we open up our application for our sophomore to apply so they can study next year. Um, in September all the way to December, the application is open online. 
um, and ask you to which program term you want to go to. And after that, we go through all the applications um, to look at the eligibility. You have to meet the 2.5 GPA to be eligible to study away. And you have to finish all your sophomore level courses before you study away, especially if you want to study in semester for Florence and New York. Uh, we want to make sure you stay on track to graduate, so we offer all the junior level courses in Florence and New York. Also, London and Paris. For design students, you can study full semester in Paris, and you can transfer some of the courses you take in Paris to here to um, fulfill your junior courses. London also, you can transfer some of the courses that you take in the semester and um, apply to your graduation plan. So what are the courses and what are the programs out there and what courses you're taking there? All the information in our website and also housing information is there and then kind of estimate of the um, cost. Um, we have break it down that will be charged to your account versus what will be out of your pocket expenses. All those are laid out in our um, website. Also, we have a lot of scholarships that's associated with the internship and study away. So we that's opening up in December and close in January. So you can apply. Um, it opens up maybe a little bit over one month. We will give you a chance to apply. And I encourage everybody to do that. It is a little competitive, but it's a good um, scholarship that if you want to have um, extra that you can apply to your study away experience. Um, also, working with the financial aid office is really important that if you know where you want to study, if you start to plan that when you come into the school as a freshman, that will really help you to plan out finance and you can talk to financial office um, person. I think Jessica Russell, I don't know if her information is on the website, but you can watch her talking about that right here, welcome mm -hmm. and financial aid. Um, she will talk to you more in detail about how you plan out your study away finances and um, you can always make an appointment with her too um, to talk about your um, financial situation. So that's kind of basic um, information, just overview, just watching out the timing here. Um, any other Questions. Everybody have frequently asked questions that we can maybe go through. It's on our website. Um, and there are multiple study away. Um, you just have to apply once and you just indicate which program, which semester you want to do. Um, and you can just fill out in one application. And usually the pre approval application application starts on in September, go all the way to December, and you get notification in January. Um, and Dr. Yeah. on that free application, so when students come in freshman year, they'll likely attend the study away event in the fall, right? And get yes. more information. And then the pre application process is something that begins during sophomore year, correct? Yes. Okay. So sophomore year is when you would fill out the pre application in preparation to study away your junior year. So, as a prospective student, that's something to keep in mind is maybe first year you're kind of exploring and learning and then preparing to make a choice sophomore year when you do the pre-app and then junior year is when you would be gone, ideally. Yeah, I strongly encourage you, everybody, when you come in as a freshman, um, talk to your financial aid officer or talk to your parents about, you know, serious thinking about where you want to study and then plan out, you know, save some money and how you can, because some of the program fee, you probably need to pay out of your pocket. Um, so something you cannot use your own scholarship or financial aid at that time. But if you save up money to save aside for that, then that really help you. If you plan that out from the beginning as a freshman, that will really help you in the long run. And that's probably especially important. Oh, go ahead. Can I ask your question? I was just wondering, how does it work for as a transfer student? Because technically, I guess I'm transferring as a, in as a junior. Um, so I was wondering how that would work. And am I able to study abroad my senior year? Or should it be done in junior year? So um, if you're a transfer student, we can have you um, fill out the pre-approval application as usual. And then you can, you probably need to do that right away when you come as a transfer student. 
um, and then um, you will be same as we will treat you as if you are our um, sophomore um, and then mm -hmm. you can maybe plan out something early on as you come to the campus in um, August you probably need to plan out what where you want to study what was your second right. question sorry Oh, I was just wondering if I would, if my study abroad semester or month would be done my junior year or if that would be done in my senior year. If you see where you are at with your course, do you know you'll be um, coming in as a sophomore or junior? Do you know what courses can be transferred? Um, I think I'd be coming in as a junior. Okay. Um, I think you can still start. I mean, there's a summer program. Maybe you can go because that doesn't really apply you don't have a lot of elective courses are offered during the summer so it's gonna not gonna affect your course plan and also new york program we offer some senior courses so you can take that when you plan to do that next year in fall 21 you can go new york and take some senior courses as well got it okay thank you mm -hmm. Um, Gabriella, do you have any questions? Oh, that was me. <laughs> oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, Sorry, I thought yeah. that was Abigail. Abigail, uh, do you have any questions? Um, you can do more than one study abroad session, correct? Yeah, you can. You just have to plan out. A lot of our students actually study in Florence in the fall and go to um, New York in the spring semester. Or some students start from summer. They go either South Korea or Paris and London, go to Florence and then go to New York. OK, thank you. Yep. There's lots of options for that. Yeah. Um, and then Dr. Han, one thing I think is kind of interesting to talk a little bit about is how students choose which um, which place they want to study. So I would imagine for some students it's based off of affordability and that kind of thing. But do you recommend that students try to align it with their career goals and their interests? Or I mean, how what would you recommend as they're kind of searching and kind of figuring out what they want to do, what they can what they should consider? Yeah, definitely each location offer unique um, opportunity. So if you are design students, I strongly encourage you to go to Paris program to learn the horticultural um, hand technique and a lot of, you know, um, the designer houses in there that you can really experience. Um, and if you're, but you know, I recommend New York program for both design and merchandising. We have a huge alumni group there and a lot of events happening with that too. So it's a great network. If you're thinking about getting a job um, in New York after you graduate, I really encourage you to do the New York program. Um, London program also, you know, a lot of, um, they have a internship program just for the summer. Um, and also there's, you get to interact with the students from different countries, different universities. So you have different experience there. Um, also South Korea too, it's in Asian countries that so you get, you are exposed to different culture that you never exposed before. So there's a lot of um, great merit, but if you are um, in Germany too, if you're a merchandising student, it's a great way to um, have that experience in Germany as an exchange um, student. Uh, I think they are, the merchandising program is really well around and something that you cannot take in here in Kent, maybe you can take in Germany. So depending on your major, what you want to do in the future, you really want to design your study away that way. Okay, that's helpful. And then um, sometimes I get questions from students about if whether or not they can do an internship while they're doing study way. And I know that is a good pairing for the New York City studio, but are there other opportunities where that's possible? Yeah, like I said, London, it's only for the summer, but you get to do the internship. Um, the price gets a little bit higher, but you have to pay extra because I think they work with the third party agent to have you placed in the internship, but it would be a great experience for you to do that. Also South Korea program, um, also it's a summer program, but you can do have the internship experience. But Florence also, it's kind of informal. It's not gonna, you're not gonna register your internship course, but you can, I know there's some informal internship experience happening in Florence as well too. 
So students would not only get to do the study abroad or study away experience, but they're taking some electives and they have the potential to get employment experience too. Mm -hmm. So a lot of different opportunity. Um, thank yeah. you for sharing all of that. Do you, are there any other questions that you all have for Dr. Hahn? Um, this is Gabriella. Um, so if we were planning on do, or is it too late to apply to do um, study abroad this coming fall semester? You mean next year, 21? Yeah, or, yes, sorry, 21. Yeah, I mean, the application, the pre-approval application open up in September 15th, and it will okay. go all the way to December. So you can definitely apply at okay. that time. And that will be open for summer 21, fall 21, and spring 22. Okay, got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You'll want to keep an eye on your Kent State email address for those types of documents um, from the okay school fashion and so that's how they'll communicate and send that stuff out to you and also the scholarship application too um, which is important to keep an eye out in the fall for okay okay yeah i will try to remind everybody about study away event as well that's going to happen <laughs> in september i will you know closer to the day even every week or month before i will remind everybody to come learn about the programs and all the application information so you won't you know make sure you don't miss that information the emails come from me. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Han. Any other questions you all have? No. OK, well, don't forget that we have another session this afternoon on the New York City Studio starting at 3. And if you need that information, you let me know. I can send it to you. And Abigail, if you want to receive that information again so you can dial in, because I don't know if the camera um, link worked for you but anyhow um, if you want that information you can let me know we'd be happy to have you join us thank you dr han for this information today and hopefully we'll have this up on the website uh, next week for you so thank you everybody thank, thank you. you hi thank you wait Bye. sorry yeah i have a quick question um